hi guys and a warm welcome to yet another tutorial video if you're new here you are most welcome my name is chini richie for short and if you're a 20 subscriber thanks for always coming back so like you already know in today's tutorial i'm going to be making this beautiful asymmetrical two-piece if this video is the one you're interested in please sit right back relax and enjoy watching and to get started the first thing i need to do is to mark out the length of the top that's the front part which is 24 inches plus 2 inches making it total of 26 inches so the length for the front that i'm marking out at this point is 26 inches so after marking i connect the point so we have the length so the next thing i'm going to be marking out all our vertical measurements so this is the armhole length of 8.5 inches the breast point of 11 plus half an inch the under bust of 14.5 plus half an inch and also the half waist length of 16.5 plus half an inch okay so i come to this other side i mark the same thing and then i connect all my vertical measurements like so so this is the labeling of all the vertical measurements so remember that this is our center fold okay this is our center so we place on fold at that point so next we divide the sh uh, shoulder measurement by two plus one inch okay so whatever your shoulder is you divide by two plus one inch in this case i have it to be 16 inches divided by two will give me eight inches plus one will give me nine inches okay so i connect the armhole length like so and then at this point i come down by three quarter of an inch okay so from that three quarter whatever is left i get the midpoint okay so i mark this is the midpoint of whatever is left at this point and then at that point i mark half an inch inward like so so with the help of my cover i mark out my armhole so next i'm going to mark in the neckline so for the neckline it depends on how wide and how deep you want it there's no um all i call it static measurement for it so just use any one that you're that you're comfortable with that's the width and the depth so i use three inches for the width and then three inches for the depth so i connect for the neckline like so to so the next one i'm going to be slanting the shoulder uh, line so that's it for the upper part so next i'm going to be dividing all our body circumference measurement by four plus um, two inches seam allowance so i start with a bust measurement divided by four plus two inches seam allowance okay and then at the under bust remember this is not a fitted dress okay and there is no zipper at the shoulder area so we'll make sure we make this dress you know free enough or uh, flexible enough for the wearer okay so at the under bust what i have at the bust measurement i just take out half an inch from that one and then i mark at the under bust okay so for the bust measurement i had a total of 12.5 so at the under bust i mark 12 inches and then i come down to the half waist length i mark the same thing i marked at the under bust so at this lower part you divide the hip measurement by four plus two inches okay so you mark that out as well so next because of the shape of the front which is asymmetrical in shape we're going to be carving out the shape of the front just like it is so to get that done at this hip divided by four that's the hip measurement divided by four we come up by four inches okay so you can see this is four inches then what we have in total for the hip divided by four plus two inches we also mark the same thing at that four inches that we came up so we're going to be connecting from that point all the way to the armhole area okay not all the way down then from that point we're going to be curving down to the length of the top so can you see that so to get that done i'm from the center fold i mark five inches and then from that five inches i'm going to be connecting to that other side the upper side of the blouse okay so this is basically how you go about the shaping and the cutting of the front pattern so i proceed to cutting out of the front front pattern but one thing i forgot to mention is that for the armhole for the back and the front remember we don't have the armholes to be the same okay the front or the back is not as dented as the front so i reshape you know just like as you can see for the back okay so this is going to be the armhole cutting for the back after which i you know go back to cutting the front so i cut along the back armhole like so so this is the shoulder slant and then the neckline so this is what the front pattern looks like so i'm going to be using this to cut the back and in doing so i'm not going to be cutting the back on a pattern paper just like i did to the front i'm going to be cutting the back directly on the fabric so i get the fabric folded into two and then i place the front on it like so so i'm using um the office an office pin to hold it down so for the back 
from the style you already know that it's asymmetrical so the back is going to be longer than the front and i'm going to be adding an extra 10 inches to what we have at the front to the back okay so we have the back to be 36 inches by the front is 26 inches okay so that's why we have it longer like so and then for the shaping at the side for the back as well um, what we have the width we have that's the hip divided by four plus two inches seam allowance we come down to the length of the back and then we are going to be doing the same thing but in this case i'll be adding an extra two to three inches to the width of the front so whatever you have at the front just add two to three inches and then you mark at the back then at that point you are going to be coming up by two inches okay so this is the two inches upward just so that we can have it curved just like we did to the front even though it's not going to be as curvy as the front then we connect back to the width to the side of the front like so so this is what we have okay then for the neckline the back is not as deep as the front so the depth for the back i'm going to be using two inches for the depth of the back but the width remains the same okay so i curve like so and then i cut out the neckline and for the armhole remember that this present armhole i'm cutting you know along is for the back i'm going to be cutting the front by the time i'm done with the back okay so i cut along like so Please endeavor to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel up to this point so i'm done cutting the back and i take out the pattern paper and this is what our back pattern looks like okay so this is what you have for the back or we have for the back then to cut the front i just get my uh, fabric and then place my pattern paper on it and then i'm going to be cutting along the initial armhole that we have since we're done with the back so i can now cut what we have initially so i cut along exactly what i have on my pattern paper just like so remember i always tell you that i have all my seam allowances added to the pattern paper hence there is no addition of seam allowances to the fabric by the time i'm cutting so this is what they both look like the front and then the back okay so for this one all we are left with is just the stitching process for the upper part and next we're going to be cutting the second part of the two pieces that's the short and for the length i'm going to be using a total of 20 inches okay plus two inches seam allowance but in case you want it as short as it is in the sample you're not going to be using up to this length you should be using a total of let's say 16 17 inches if you want it that short okay so that's basically it so i'm going to be marking out the two inches seam allowance for the shoulder is what i'm doing at this point so after i'm done doing that the next thing is to get um the crotch length so in getting the crotch uh, crotch length the crotch length is 11 inches okay so i mark out the crotch length and then after that i also connect the crotch length so now that we're done with almost all the vertical measurements the next thing is going is for me to get the crotch extension and to do that you divide your hip by four and whatever you get you further divide by four so let's say hip is 40 you divide by four to give you 10 you divide 10 by four again to give you 2.5 so that's going to be your crotch extension and that's how you get this point that i just marked and i think one of the last um, vertical measurements i didn't mark out is the a hip line which i'm just marking out at this point so you also get your hip line because that is where your crotch curving is going to begin okay so at this point i'm just labeling every point out just for clarity's sake so from this hip line i'm going to be crotch and um, sorry curving the crotch you know see this so this is what the crotch curve look like so at this upper part i'm going to be marking out the waist measurement divided by four plus seam allowance okay so this is the waist divided by four plus one inch seam allowance and then at the hip line you divide the hip measurement by four plus your seam allowance okay so take note of all the points so this is what it looks like okay so whatever i have at this hip line i come down to this crotch uh, length area and mark exactly the same thing okay whatever i have at the hip line i mark the same thing so at this point now i'm going to be measuring from this crotch extension all the way to the hip measurements so whatever i have at, as a total of this point i come down to the length here i divide it by two that's the middle of what i have so this is just how one of the ways you can get the midpoint so i just fold my table to get the midpoint and then at the two inches allowance i mark the same thing okay so this is basically um one of the easiest ways to go about your cutting of your shorts or your trouser so at this point the time uh, circumference whatever you have okay you divide it by two okay whatever it gives you you divide it also by two let's say total in total in total you are going to be dividing it by four that's your tight circumference whatever it gives you from the midpoint that midpoint that we mark you're going to be marking it on each side 
okay please i hope you understand this point so from this midpoint whatever you have after dividing your tight circumference by four you mark it you can see from this point i mark and then at this point i mark as well from the middle and then you go ahead to add half an inch to each of the sides that's your seam allowance and now it's time for us to connect our points together okay so i get my cover and then i connect from the hip to the waist and then from the waist down to the length of the shorts and then i come down to, uh, to the crotch area i connect like so as well so this is what it looks like and then at this point i'm going to be connecting down to the two inches seam allowance but it's not going to be straight you just bring it outward a little bit like so so i cut out the front pattern of the shot okay so once again do not forget to subscribe like give this video a thumbs up and then just do all the basic necessary things that needs to be done at this point thank you guys so we are going to be cutting the back with this one at this point so i get the front pattern i place it over another like so and what in doing that i'm going to be marking some inches at the upper and then at the side of the pattern paper so for the upper part i marked out two inches and then for the front side i'm going to be marking about four inches out so after marking out the upper and the side um extra allowance i then i place my pattern on it like so you can see how i place that and then from this point i'm going to be extending the crotch extension like so it's not you can see i didn't place the uh, ruler to be straight it's, it's landed a little and then this one you come up like so okay so at the waist and the crotch extension you extend and for the crotch extension you are going to be extending by 3.5 inches and then at this upper part you can extend i'm going to be using 1.5 you can use one as well okay you can extend by one inch depending on the shape of the person and then you extend outward like so by another one inch or 1.5 it all depends on the shape of the person that is going to be wearing it okay and then i connect the crotch for the back like so so this is what the crotch for the back extension looks like and then from this point i'm going to be connecting this point to the waist of the skirt so it's not going to be a straight line it's slanted and then for the lower part i'm just going to be extending it by 1.5 inch at this point okay and then i do the same thing as the lower part as well and then i connect both points together with the help of a straight and a curve rule like so so basically this is what our back pattern looks like so with this one we can now use this to cut our fabric and then go ahead to stitch our pieces together and this is basically how you go about the cutting of your two-piece asymmetrical top and short and i hope this was really helpful um see you guys in my next one i made this in other adirel uh, fabric as well i hope i'm able to get them and just show you guys but in the meantime enjoy and see you bye